I arrived in a village of the Abore tribe on the last day of a big wedding celebration. The Abore, which translates as Land of the Bull, is said to have some of the most beautiful girls in all of Omo Valley. The Abore are also known for their unique homes, which are made out of papyrus, which is a strong reed grown in nearby lakes. It's the same plant used by the Egyptians for paper during ancient times. I'm gonna take you inside and show you around the home of a woman named Hagaya. I'm inside one of the huts of the Abori. I'm inside the Bada now, which is the area that people can get shade relief from the hot sun outside. And behind me is the men which is the home area where they sleep and um, the main area, the kitchen. The kitchen's in there? The main kitchen is in there and then another kitchen is back here. So I'll show you guys around. So that's the entrance. This is the kitchen. Mm, gole. Gola? Gole. 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 Gole is kitchen. Kor. Gole. Kor. What? Karmo. 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 Karmo is kalamash. This is really nice. And this is made out of Murder, wood and. Wood and the. Uh, this is like uh, from weed, you know, from tree. From, from tree. Kungurati. 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 You don't have a husband? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Why? Why? Mm -hmm. I swear I get asked the same question in every village I go to. It's a storage. <gasps> it's a oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, then the sorghum, that's no, right. Sorghum, yeah. yeah. They store the sorghum and maize in their homes to dry and will eventually cook it and turn it into a porridge or make it into beer. This is the bed. Uh huh. There's father and mother sleeping here. Mm hmm. Uh, children, they're sleeping over there. Children sleep here in yeah. the kitchen, like in, in this area. Kitchen, okay. Area. These are for the. Uh, guests. Oh. When the rain season, uh -huh. when they have the guests, they still sleep here. Okay. This for owners of house. We have two chairs. Mm -hmm. For the owners of the house. Uh, yeah. When he eats something, when he drinks coffee, mm -hmm. he stay here. Mm. Another person not don't stay on this chair. Only for the owners, nobody yeah, else. Yeah, nobody else. This is so nice. <laughs> Ferengi is a word commonly used throughout Ethiopia and it basically means foreigner. My mama, mama, come. It's finally time for the celebration. The most important part of an Arbore wedding is the dancing party. This is the first out of three dances that will be taking place. This one is right next to the family of the bride and involves many of her relatives. And then suddenly I get pulled in to dance. After I was finished with one man, another one jumped in. Everyone thought it was funny and said I was very strong for dancing for so long. I really don't think I had much of a choice. I'm at the wedding ceremony. They're dancing behind me. 
and uh, I just got done dancing. I'm completely out of breath, but uh, this dancing group is for the people who are married and the elders. And then there's another one back here somewhere that I'll be going to that um, is for the young people. So we'll be going back to them, going over there. The ceremony will last, the dancing will last a couple of hours. So I'm, I feel very, very lucky to be here and be experiencing it. There are some distinctions between married and unmarried girls. Single, young, unmarried girls wear metal anklets, beaded armbands, and have shaved heads. Once a girl becomes a married woman, the jewelry and hairstyles change. Once married, the armband switches to metal, the anklets are removed, and her hair is grown out into a short braided style. This is the main dancing ceremony where the bride and groom are joined by their friends and they all dance together. It's basically like a party. In general, Abore men and women are attracted to the way each other dance and oftentimes find their future companions at a wedding or other dancing celebration. Nowadays, an Abore man gets to choose his own wife. A little different from the other Ethiopian tribes where marriages are usually arranged by the families. Once a wife is picked and both families have agreed, a payment, otherwise known as a dowry, is paid to the girl's family by the future husband's family in the form of cows and goats. After a couple hours of dancing, the elders end up breaking up the wedding party so that everyone can get back to the daily duties of fetching water and wood and tending to the cattle. Now they are preparing a fire for the final tradition of the wedding ceremony the slaughtering of some of the family's prized cows and goats for a feast for all of the guests. <laughs> Meanwhile, the older relatives are having their own dancing fun. Ha <laughs> ha 
We all have so much in common, no matter where in the world we are from. We all laugh, we all love, and we all celebrate. One world, one human race. Discover, love, embrace.